Okay. Change the law of life and those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future. You know, that brings up a very interesting question in cognitive therapy. We have the distortion label we use in the mind of mechanics trainings. You know, fortune telling, forecasting. And right now with so much corona and all this political uncertainty, our anxiety, you know, thoughts are rampant. Uncertainty, doubt, all so much. And so we're often advising people to try to kill our thoughts about the future. And yet here on Motivation Monday, we have an idea. Past or present are certain to miss the future. So what is a good use of future thinking? Yeah, most of the self-help movements are telling us, hey, forget about the future. It's a made-up projection of what's going to be. Forget about the past. It's an imprint on your neural networks. So what about the present? The present is a gift. <laughs> or what's the future for? Why should I think about the future? Well, I have a lawyer I work with, and his specialty is risk management. And I also know a bunch of super successful people who had unbelievable planned goals with excellent timelines. And I think on the positive and negative side of the coin, those are the only two good uses of future-oriented thinking. So we ask ourselves, what can we use all this energy to think about the future? Number one, to plan, have contingency plans tool we have for anxiety. Plan, if things are going rough, then plan something for an alternative. And two, if you want to accomplish something in life, then, you know, arrive there. Arrive there. Get a goal and set that path to get there. And use all that analytical thinking to plan a great plan. And then forget the whole plan. Just like live it today. I heard some quote that's not exactly like this. It is plan as if you'll live forever and, um, and, and live today as if this is the only day. So Motivational Monday, I hope this was helpful. Have a great week.